Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathy of Kathy's Cash and Coin. I'm a single mom with three daughters, although my oldest is grown and out of the house. My middle daughter is a college student, but she is home for the summer. And then I have my youngest that lives here with me in our home. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video. Today we're doing my budget for the second paycheck of July. I am bulk filming well before. I have this dated for July 31st. Hopefully that'll be the date it comes out. I'm trying to plan on head um but i'm filming this well well before that um but i am trying to get some bulk filming done so that i can make sure to get caught up on my videos but we'll see how this goes so as always we are using the guided pressure 2.0 uh, budget planner from paper by mo i don't know that these are available physically but you might be able to get a digital version i love this planner i love the products uh, paper by mo makes and so this is what we'll be using and like i said um this is my budget for the second paycheck of july i get paid bi-weekly so let's get into this okay again i get paid bi-weekly i have one income that is my income from the post office and my income this paycheck was two thousand two hundred and eighty five dollars all right so the first thing we have is our venture one payment and for venture one it is two hundred and eighty five dollars that's a little tiny bit more than the minimum but we are not focused on venture one right now we are focused we'll be focusing on uh synchrony all extra payments will be going to synchrony so oh i put that in the wrong place so wow i didn't even realize wow that 28 that's easy 285 minus 20 285 is 2000. <laughs> All right, so we have $2,000 left for everything else that we have to budget for. And from there, we go to our expenses or the pen wants to die on me. We're going to go to our expenses or our bills. First thing we do is our mortgage payment. Mortgage includes the mortgage, the escrow, the HOA, and the home insurance. And I split it into two. So I budget $1,040. T-Mobile is $375. That is probably a debt I could have listed on my debt um, because I do have some phones I'm paying on. There's no interest on them, but they do make this bill a lot higher than it would normally be. So uh, maybe once I get, you know, uh, Venture One or Quicksilver, I'll knock those out too. That would be great. All right, Wi-Fi is $60 a month. Water this month is only about $50. Gas for my car, I think I mentioned in my last budget that my mom filled up my gas tank. So I am not going to need as much gas money as normal because I started out uh, this paycheck with a full gas tank, basically. So we're going to just budget 75 and I'm thinking that should be good. My iPass is for tolls and I do need to add some money to that because I did take a few trips back and forth to Michigan and rode road road on the toll roads <laughs> so we're gonna total this up and see where we're at $1,620 and we're gonna take that from 2000 that leaves us $380 okay we don't have a whole lot left, but we're gonna start up here with groceries. Um, actually, for this paycheck, Autumn is in Michigan, and Ari, my or Helena, my middle daughter, will be gone for most of up until next paycheck. So I'm thinking I don't need to do as much grocery shopping because it's just me here. Um, I'm gonna do seven seventy five. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna do. 75. I hope I can make it with 75. I should be okay. Like I said, I went to Costco recently and since it's just me, I think I can be okay with 75. And then also because I don't have either of my kids home, dining out, $10 will be plenty if I decide to stop at McDonald's one night or something, but I, I that might actually be able to roll, roll over for once. Uh, miscellaneous, we're going to do $5.00. Clothes is one that I've been doing at least $20 a paycheck because that money has actually been going towards my Kohl's card. But since I know we're going to pay off Kohl's at the end of this month, I'm going to drop it down to 10 
um, even though I do need to build it up because obviously we do need a cloth clothing fund, um, but we're just gonna, because this paycheck is a little bit lower, um, we're gonna keep it at 10. Um, gifts we're also gonna put at $10. Um, I'm going to use my Mother's Day, Father's Day challenge for my mom's birthday gift. And then all I have is my nephews. And then there's not another birthday for a while after that. So I think 10 should be okay. Pets and Health are each going to get 20. So this is going to be $40. And it seems like $20 a paycheck for my cat. Seems to be pretty good with food and litter. It's working out well. And then Blessings always gets $5. And that's usually for an added tip or... Um, if I see someone in need, but typically it ends up being an extra tip on top of a normal tip just because uh, I don't always run into somebody in need. All right, so we are going to total this up. All right, so this is $155, and we are going to take that from the 380. So that leaves us 200 and $25, and that's for all the binders. Now this 225 previous to budgeting and having these binders would have been spent on whatever. So I'm grateful that I do this now and I budget it out like this. All right, so we have all our binders we're gonna move on to next. Okay, the first binder is the revolving binder and we have $225 left. And we are gonna start with school, and school is for school supplies, maybe even school clothes, um, registration fees. We are gonna add $5. Landscapers at 50. Now I still have to make June's payment, which would only be 20 of this. So because we have, okay, we're gonna do zero. And yeah, same thing with holidays has zero, but I know I have a big amount in the challenge for holidays, so that's good. Family fun, we're still gonna add $5. Uh, we spent that on uh, 4th of July weekend. And then birthdays, you know what? I'm not gonna do anything for birthdays because I know um, my daughter's birthday for, it, it comes first in November, hers is fully funded and we have a challenge going, plus we have 45. So I think we're gonna be okay just doing zero this paycheck. Costco, Costco always needs at least $10. And self-care always at least $20, but if you watched my challenge video, boy, I think it was probably over a week ago now where I um, shut the box, so money went into self-care, and I finished the iBucks challenge, which also went into self-care, so this is going to be nice. Um, I will be able to get my Manny and Petty, no problem. So this actually is not going to be 65 anymore. This is 100 thanks to those two. So we're gonna have 120, which is more than needed for my Manny and Petty, which is great because it would be nice to have some actually roll over instead of always depleting it. Um, giving, I am gonna add $5 too because I do need to send, um, send a gift to someone out of the giving envelope. So we're gonna add five there. And then Mom Fuel is gonna get $5 for all my coffee needs. I'm gonna have to go get some coffee soon. And then Miscellaneous will also get $5. So let's add this up and see where we're at. I think it's 55. Yep, $55. Oh, we're gonna take that from the 225. So that leaves us $170. Oh, this pen or marker, $170. Okay, moving on to our sinking fund sheets. And what did I say? We had $170. Okay, so this is our dated binder. These all have specific amounts that need to be put in them every single paycheck, starting with Christmas. And Christmas, we are adding $15 to. And then car registration, which won't be due till February, we add $7 to. Amazon Prime, 
we are need we need to add nine dollars to it this last paycheck of july it'll be fully funded and then i can put it in my account when amazon comes out of my account in august so that's awesome that one will be completed um or fully funded for this uh this year Disney Plus gets $5 a paycheck. That's not till February. ID Theft gets $7 a paycheck. That will come out in November. Microsoft is due in May. That is $5 a paycheck. And then, of course, Wedding, we do at least $25 a paycheck. Then these last three, Carb Manager, which is an app, Waste Management, and Butcher Box, they're all going to get $2. Um, I did just pay waste management with the last paycheck, so we're just building it up because it's a quarterly bill. Carp Manager is a yearly bill. It's only $35, and then Butcher Box comes every six to eight weeks, so it'll be nice to have something to throw towards it. It's not going to be the full $150, adding $2 a paycheck, but at least maybe I'll have $10, $20, something to go towards it so it doesn't all come out of that one paycheck. So we're going to total this up and see where we're at. $79, that's a big chunk of the 170, so 70 would make it 100, so we should be at $91, I think. Yep, we're at $91 remaining, and we'll move on to the next sheet. Okay, so we have $91 left over the next uh, sinking funds are my long-term sinking funds. These are all ones, they don't have a specific date, but they're kind of important to me. Um, so we're gonna start with glasses. Glasses is gonna get $5 uh, because I do need to take both of my girls to get glasses before school starts. So that'll be in the next month. I don't know that that's enough money for that, but we will see. Passports is not gonna get anything this paycheck. I just don't have the funds for it. Um, Audie's orthodontist. You know what, we're still gonna add $2 there. Student loan is not gonna get anything. That will be starting up soon enough. Health, we're gonna just add $2. Um, this is for, you know, when you get those unexpected bills. Yeah, Ooh, okay. Car maintenance is getting $10. I do need an oil change, it's that time already. And boy, oh boy, that's, uh, that's probably all of that money gone already. And then swim team is gonna get $10 as well. Um, my uh, youngest is in swim. She's in two different swim teams, uh, one in Michigan over the summer, which just ended, and then she'll start up again around here uh, once school starts. So that it's not cheap. So I also have challenges going for that as well. Plus the bathing suits are not cheap and all the things. Um, we're moving on to, this is just I'm gonna add two dollars just to fund when I when I needed a vacuum or my new comforter, things like that that are a little bit more pricey that I would like to get for myself. It's just kind of that extra fund. And then vet, I think vet should get at least five. Yeah, five dollars we're gonna do for a vet. Ooh, this might take a good chunk of this. Let's see. Thirty-six dollars. So we have $55 remaining, not too bad. Okay, $55 remaining, and this is the savings binder, savings categories. So we're gonna start with Ari or Helena, my middle daughter. Um, and these are our three savings. You know what, I'm just gonna add $2 to each of them uh, for my youngest and myself and see if we can build those up again. And then Australia is a very, very long-term goal for me, but I'm still gonna add $2 to it. Now, Ari's car, we're gonna add $5. And my new car, we're gonna add $5. My old bills collection. You know what, I'm not gonna add anything to that. This is just a collection of old bills that I add to to be able to swap out. So we have um, two, four, six, eight, 18, $18. And that leaves us $37 remaining. Whew. That is not a lot of money, but we're gonna keep going. Okay, we have $37 remaining. All right, we're not gonna add much. This is my new home binder. Um, outdoors, we are gonna add $5 to. 
Uh, decor, $1. Furniture, we're gonna do $2. Appliances, we'll just do $1. Security, $1. Home maintenance will do two dollars. So what is that? Five, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve dollars. <laughs> we had thirty-seven remaining, so that gives us twenty-five dollars left, right? Yeah, we have twenty-five dollars remaining. I know I zipped through that one quickly, but I kind of know outdoors and furniture and home maintenance. Those three are the most important in here. Outdoors because I do have a landscaper working on my property. Um, that's just something I decided to do this summer. And then furniture was depleted, and home maintenance is for the when I need a professional. I want to make sure I have money set aside for that. So, all right. Okay, we have $25 remaining. I want to leave $10 left, so I want this to total $15 because I want $10 to go into the final binder. So we are going to do $2 for travel. That's two. $2 for spending. This is the travel binder to go back and forth to Kentucky for my daughter's wedding. We're going to do $2 for beauty. We'll do $1 for miscellaneous, two, four, six, seven. We're gonna do $2 for gas, $2 for food, six, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, yeah, then we'll do, we'll do $3 here. So this should be 15, two, four, six, eight, 10, 13, 14, 15, $15 going into the travel binder, which leaves us $10 remaining. Okay, and the final binder is the Harry Potter travel binder. See, I have all my stickers on there. Um, this one, every every category is getting $1. This is for our family vacation 2024. So we're going to do $1 in each envelope. which gives us ten dollars because there's ten envelopes which means we should have zero remaining so we'll go back and make sure all the numbers work out okay we are back in the budget binder so we're going to start with revolving revolving was 55 dollars dated was 79 dollars long term was 36 dollars Savings was $18, new home $12, vacation binder $15, and then the Harry Potter binder $10. So we're going to total this up and hopefully it makes $225. Which gives us a zero base budget, exactly like we want, want to do. Well, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you very, very much. Um, I will next have to do the cash stuffing, so I'll need to go get the cash um, and stuff all the binders. Like I said, this is filmed well before you're seeing it, so hope you guys are doing well. I can't believe I'm it's the end of the month already, but we're moving into August. So you guys take care. Have a blessed day. Bye.